Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how a computer processes information. Let's go to our desktop. And uh, the first thing that I want to relate to you is that a computer will only work on numbers, period. That's all it does. Uh, when you move your mouse, uh, as I am here, that's numbers that are going through your computer's processor and it's processing them and then shooting other numbers out to the display driver that's telling me that my mouse needs to be located here, moved over to here, etc. Uh, every little dot that's on the screen called a pixel is made up of three numbers, a red, a green, and a blue, and they range from 0 to 255 in number-wise. And that's how uh, your display driver knows how to draw blue here, for instance. That'll be all blue on the numbers that the processor gives it. So let's pull up a diagram here of a motherboard. And this is the main uh, board that's inside of your computer. It's called a motherboard. And uh, over here on this side of it, as you can see, are where the inputs and outputs to the computer will go. Uh, these are USB ports here. Uh, this is a video input. Uh, there are slots where you can have uh, different chips installed, uh, different video cards, sound cards, etc. Uh, there's memory modules right here, which is where your computer will uh, store uh, RAM chips, let it uh, store numbers temporarily to work on. And here are your um, what are called IDE connectors, which allow you to connect hard drives to your computer for permanent storage. Now, most important for processing is this section right here, which is the processor slot. And uh, your basically processor chip will go into this little white area right here. And that's the main brains of your computer. I want to pull up a diagram of a processor. And this is basically how a processor works. Remember, it's all numbers. Uh, numbers will come in through input to the control unit on the processor, which is basically a chip that decides how to handle the data that's being given to it. Uh, is it getting an add instruction, a, um, a set instruction, a store, uh, and on and on and on. Now that passes the data that's stored on it. The, the numbers that come into your processor are stored in what are called registers. And a register is a little section of memory on the processor that will only store a single number. Uh, for a 32-bit uh, processor, it can store a number that's 32 bits long, uh, which basically goes from 0 to 4 billion uh, and, and something. Uh, basically a very large number that it can store in each one of these registers. Now, the arithmetic logic unit in your processor is what decides how to act on numbers. It actually executes the addition uh, and basically addition subtraction and everything goes into output. So basically your processor controls the flow of data to hardware and that's how your computer processes information. 